I'm joined now by Blanche Parks, Elaine Schwartz, and Sean Wesner ahead of this weekend's Dr. Jerry Farley, the Journey of a Life event. Good morning, you three, and thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Re thank you for having us. Really appreciate you all stopping by. We've got such a unique event to talk about today. What's in store for this Sunday's The Journey of a Life? Well, we are celebrating the life and work of Dr. Jerry Farley, who was the president of Washburn University for many, many years and an important figure in our community. We are hosting it as part of our Lasting Legacy Online. This is a platform where individuals can go and write their stories free of charge. It's all thanks to the K. McFarland Living Trust. And we're absolutely thrilled to highlight Dr. Farley as one of our first notable Kansans on our site. That's absolutely incredible mm -hmm. there. And you mentioned there uh, that his educational achievements, but that event will be culminating in a prestigious pilot award. Can you talk a little bit here about Dr. Farley's connection to the aviation community? Dr. Farley has been a pilot his whole life. He has 50 successful years of piloting without any type of flaws, errors, as part of the recognition of his safe track record. He is being awarded a very prestigious award and we are so honored and thrilled to have the opportunity to have that be a part of his story and highlight his successes on Sunday. That sure will mean a lot. That's just incredible there. And leading up to that award, can I have you talk a little bit about what the day will, uh, that event will look like leading up to uh, that, that accumulation? Well, we'd like everyone to know that this event is open to the public. It will be at the K. McFarland Japanese Gardens, so everyone is welcome to attend. We will have an opportunity for you, the public, to come and meet Dr. Farley if you don't already know them, but, already, but are familiar with his story and who he is. And we will have a presentation that will talk a little bit about his life. It's the unveiling of his story, which is so spectacular. He was the very first person in his family to go to college. He w was in New York on 9-11. There's so many interesting facts about him that I think that this community will really enjoy. And he's someone to be highlighted. He's a very successful individual and someone that we're so proud to know. Yeah, and, and you kind of touched on it there, but I've got to ask the three of you here. What's it mean to you all heading into a celebration and really a reflection on such an iconic member of the local area? Go ahead. Well, uh, uh, we'd like to invite everyone to be sure and attend the, the event on Sunday and to celebrate the accomplishments of a leader in our community and the university. Um, uh, uh, you'll be able to hear and read about his uh, accomplishments through life, uh, about a man who uh, was born in Altus and, and uh, grew up in uh, uh, Tipton, Oklahoma. And uh, uh, he came from humble beginnings and he has a very strong work ethic. And so you'll, you'll be able to read about his life's journey and uh, how he became a leader in, in, in education and in various areas. And, and Elaine, the, pose the question to you there. What's it mean to have this event just on the horizon and really celebrate you know, that, that very iconic individual? I'm looking forward to the bow tie cookies. <laughs> is we're having bow tie cookies and yes. sandwiches. His signature, so, yes, 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 signature. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Yes. Well, that, that truly sounds like a great event, and I honestly cannot think of a more honorary uh, Topeka to, to really kick that off there. So uh, Blanche, Elaine, Agreed. Sean, thank you all okay. again for joining us this morning. Wishing the best for that Farley's, the, for the Farley's there heading into that incredible celebration. Well, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. And we'll send it over to Eli for another look at your Thursday up ahead here.